the session four is by DIC South Asia Private Limited, and the topic of this session is Innovative Resin Solution for Coatings. This session will be conducted by Mr. Bhagwat Shinde. Maybe now please request Mr. Bhagwat Shinde to please join us on the stage and meet me request Mr. Jatin Agarwal to please accompany Mr. Bhagwat Shinde on the stage and present a beach box to him to felicitate him. Warm welcome. Big round of applause to welcome Mr. Bhagwat Shinde. Assistant Manager Technical Services Coating Resins at DIC South Asia Private Limited. Probably one of the youngest speakers of the conference. He has five years of technical work experience with the top companies in the paints and coating industry, such as PPG Asian Paints and Kansai Neurolag Paints. Mr. Bhagwat Shinde. Thank you. Thank you for my introduction. And uh, I would like to thank IFCA and DIC for giving me uh, an opportunity to present a DIC portfolio on a such a big stage. So I will start with the introduction of DIC Corporation. DIC Corporation is one of the Japan's most diversified fine chemical company. And our headquarter is located in Tokyo, Japan. And DIC Corporation is a heart of DIC Group. DIC Group has a 189 subsidiary companies in worldwide, including Sun Chemical Corporation, and we are operating in around 160, uh, around in 63 countries. DIC Corporation is established in 1908 as a Kawamura Manufacturing Company, and later on the name changed in 2008 as a DIC Corporation. We have top shares in a global market for the printing inks, organic pigments, and synthetic resins. We also have the leading producer of uh, packaging and graphic solutions, color and display products, and fine, uh, functional products. DIC Corporation has a businesses in four segments like packaging and graphics, color and display, then functional products, and new businesses which is related to the EHS and social. We also have the products for the electronics products and automotive applications. As we have the, we uh, supply the high quality resin products through our functional units in worldwide. We have uh, manufacturing plants as well as uh, R&D centers in Asia Pacific region as well as in South Asia. Many of knows the Ideal Chemi Plus is an Indian resin manufacturing company and DIC has acquired Ideal Chemi Plus in 2019. And so Ideal Chemi Plus is a 100% subsidiary of uh, DIC Group. We have existing plant in, um, in uh, Maharashtra at Badlapur. We producing the resins like acrylic, polyester, alkyds in at Badlapur plant. And we also have a new plant which is located in, uh, located in Ahmednagar, which is in Maharashtra. So our new plant will have the capacity or we will, it will be, uh, we have the plan to manufacture acrylic resins, polyester resins, epoxy ethers, alkyd resins in a new plant. The area of the new plant will, uh, is around 48,000 square meter. And this plant will be start in next year in the month of uh, July. So we have two plants in India. We will supply the resins as per the customer requirement as per the market requirement. So we are able to provide the solutions to the customers. So talking about the product portfolio, I would like to present the product portfolio with respect to the four applications like automotive revenishing, industrial metal coatings, plastic coatings, and wood coatings. So starting with the automotive refinishing coatings, as you know that we have to apply the four to five layer coating on a, a metal substrate. And the layer is start from the putty layer, then uh, uh, the primer layers, then base coat and top coat. So putty is generally we are formulated by using the uh, unsaturated polyester resins. So unsaturated polyester we call as UPR, and there are the two types of the putty is required for automotive refinishing. One is a body putty, 
and the second one is a surface putty. So body putty and surface, surface putty is required to fill the damaged part and give the smoothness of the fill. And after the putty application, we have to apply the uh, primer, and the primer generally used uh, as a 2K, uh, 2K acrylic pro uh, product. The primer should give a good adhesion to the putty as well as having the fast drying properties and good sandability properties. After the ap primer application, we apply the base coat over the clear coat. So base coat, base coat is generally uh, 1K acrylic, 2K acrylic, then 1K polyester or TPA resins we use. And in a clear coat, we generally apply the 2K PU product. So the end properties of the coating layer is depend upon the end uh, acrylic product that uh, clear coat and the mainly properties depend upon the hydroxy values. So here is a product lineup for the automotive refinishing coatings. We have the product for the putty, primer, base coat and clear coat. For the putty, we have both the products that body putty and surface putty. Then uh, for the primer, we have the 2K acrylic resins for the primer surfaces and a 2K epoxy ester for the washing primer. The, in the base coat region, we have a one, 1K acrylic, 2K acrylics, as well as a 1K polyester, alkyd resins. And for the uh, clear, clear top coat, we have 2K acrylic resins. is mainly divided by the hydroxy value. As I mentioned, the hydroxy value plays an important role in a, in a chemical resistance, as well as a gloss and other weather properties. So we have the product which is categorized in three segments like economic segments, middle segments, and premium segments. So talking in details about the automotive uh, clear top coats and metallic base coats. So we have the product lineup, and you can see here we have the products for the 2K polyols that having the solid percent from 50 to 80 percent and hydroxy value is around 50 to 160 or 170. So we have the products which will meet the market requirement for the customer. And nowadays the trend is going on, people want the low hydroxy value product with having the high solid. So it, will should, it should give the gasoline resistance, chemical resistance and weather resistance. So people want to reduce the price of hardener. So we, you can see here we have the So we have the product which having the hydroxy value, value is around 100 and the solid is around 70%. AC3646, AC3648, and Hydrakil8064. These are the, this is, this is the products which give you the properties with the product having the hydroxy value is around 140 to 150. So you can see here, we have the products which, which will meet the market requirement. We recommend any product as per the market requirement, customer requirement. As you can see here, we have the high hydroxy value product and low hydroxy value product. And as per the weatherability, these are the product with excellent grade and these are the standard grade. Talking about the examples, ID kill 1069. This is the hydroxy functional acrylic resins. It, it, having the very good fast drying properties, it will have a good adhesion to the all substrate. Also, it shows the good chemical resistance. And as you know that the adhesion and the hardness is a trade of properties. So this product shows both the properties. This is the specialty of this product. Next one is the IDKL 5924. It is also hydroxy functional acrylic resin. This product having the hydroxy value is around 85. And as you see, this product shows the adhesion to the metal as well as the plastic substrate. If this product can be cured at ambient temperature by using the polyisocyanate and at elevated temperature by using the uh, amino resin. As you've seen in the graph, there is a correlation between the uh, film appearance and the DFT and dry, uh, drying time. As you increase the DFT, drying time of the film get reduces and the appearance of the film get increases. Next one is IDKIL8064. This is also hydroxy functional acrylic resin. And this product having the higher solid is around 70%. And hydroxy value is around, uh, nine, is around 95 to 100. So this product we recommend for the middle segments. And uh, this product also has the good heat resistance, sorry, water, weather resistance and having the high gloss. As you see in the graph that the, at 50 micron DFT, the DOI, DOI of the film is around 80 or 80 plus. That means this product shows a good leveling and gross properties. 
So now I want to introduce the product for the metallic base, uh, sorry, base coat for the automotive refinishing, ID Creel 3324. This product is also hydrogen functional, and this product having the compatibility with the cap, and this product also have the compatibility with uh, aromatic hydrocarbons, esters, and ketones. This product can be cured at ambient temperature with polyisocyanate. Also, this product shows the good adhesion to the mild steel, zinc galvanized steel, and so on. Now, I would like to present a product for the industrial metal coatings. This is the product lineup for solvent based products for industrial metal coatings. We have the product like epoxy, epoxy esters, epoxy ethers, alkyds, polyester, acrylics for the industrial metal coatings. For not only the solvent based, we also have the water based products. For the industrial metal coatings, we have the epo epoxy water bond products for the primer application. Talking about in details about the application wise product segments, we divided in three parts that is DTM coating, then uh, general industrial coating, and eco friendly industrial coatings. In general industrial, uh, in general, uh, in DTM coating, the DTM it means we have to apply only mono coat on direct to the substrate. And in India, the trend is going on, the trend of DTM coating in drastically increases because it see it shows a good uh, productivity, increase in the productivity time and all reducing the application time. So people are looking for the DT, uh, DTM coating products and in India, the market for the DTM coating is automotive and as well as the uh, uh, commercial vehicles and uh, for the construction metal area is, is this is market for the Vietnam is Vietnam. We have the variety of product for the DTM application. You can see here epoxy esters, 1K acrylic, 2K acrylic and thermo, thermoplastic or thermosetting acrylic resins we recommend for the DTM coating application. Talking about the examples that ID Grill 7892. This is the thermoplastic acrylic resin. We recommend for the DTM coatings. This product shows a good, good adhesion to the substrate. And in, in DTM coatings, we recommend this product that we not require any treatment to the substrate. You can use directly to the metal. And this product shows a good adhesion to the product, having good, having good uh, gloss, as well as having we supply this product is around 50% solid. The next one is Alcudir AL3330. This is a acrylic modified alkyd. This product having the speciality that this product having the very good solvent resistance as well as the chemical resistance. You can see here the gasoline resistance of that product. This is the 1K acrylic, 1K acrylic product and uh, uh, here is the AL330. After the six hours, there is a no any de uh, defect or any changes of the film after the gasoline resistance. And this product shows a good adhesion to GI as well as the mild steel. Uh, is around, uh, I, I need to check and confirm you. I don't have the idea. Right now. So next one, I would like to introduce the 2K acrylic product for the DTM coatings. This is IDCryl 1063D. This product showing the good adhesion to metal like uh, mild steel, aluminum, and galvanized steel. This product shows a good weather resistance and it can be cured by uh, ambient temperature by polyisocyanate. This product having a hydrox value is around 75 to 85. So we recommend this product for the economy segment. Next one is uh, Acryl DIC AC37223. This is also hydroxy functional acrylic resin. This product having the solid percent is around 80 and hydroxy value is around 130 to 140. This product shows a very high gloss and DOI, also having the excellent durability and anti-corrosion properties, then excellent chemical resistance. The next session, I would like to introduce the product for general industrial coatings. We have the product ID Kid 1325. This is a styrene modified alkyd resin. This product having good gloss as well as fast drying properties and recordability properties. You can use this product by for the air drying by using the metal dryers as well as the polyisocyanate for the 2K system. 
This product we recommend for the aerosol paints, and this product having the compatibility with uh, hydrocarbons, esters, and ketones. So now we generally introduce this product like sub duko ki ek dawa, idcrel 1063. You can use this product in any layer of the system that primer, base coat, and clear coat. You can use anywhere this product. This product having properties like appearance, corrosion resistance, water resistance, and adhesion to any substrate like uh, metals, you can say, mild steel, zinc galvanized, and so on. And this product shows a good fast drying properties also. So mostly in industrial, industrial coatings, this product is having a very good requirement. The next special product, specialized product, I would like to introduce that for the heat resistance coating, ID epoxy silicon 3050. This is a silicon modified epoxy resin. If there is a requirement of heat resistance is up to 600 degree, so we recommend this product for that particular application and mostly the, this application or this product is used for the motorcycle silencer coating. You can see here, this product also shows the good anti corrosion anti properties with heat resistance. And in the table you can see, you can use this product as a 1K lacquer or 2K with titanic catalyst and 2K with polyamide. So this product we recommend for the heat resistance coating. The next one I would like to introduce the uh, eco-friendly products for the industrial metal coatings. Here is the Epiclon H50642W. This is a water bond epoxy resin. We recommend for the primer application in, in industrial coatings. This is the in water based, so this having the low VOC compared to the solvent based, and this shows a similar properties like a solvent based epoxy primer. You can see here this his, uh, the product shows the good flexibility, corrosion resistance, hardness, and impact resistance, as well as having the good adhesion to the metal. Next one is a water bond epoxy ether. IT Hydrol 8062. This also, we this is a local product. Means uh, we have manufactured in India. And this product also shows a good anti corrosion properties, and uh, we can use this product by as a air drying as well as uh, using the methylated melamine for the elevated temperature curing. This product you can use for the metal as well as concrete surface. The next one, I would like to introduce the bio-based products like ID epoxy 7954. This is the epoxy resin for anti corrosive properties or anti corrosive coatings. This product having the low viscosity compared to the bisphenol A based products and due to the low viscosity, you have to add more filler. So we, rec we offer this product in 75% uh, solids in a xylene. So it, by using this product, there is a no requirement of any polar solvent in your formulation. You can directly use only the solvent like xylene. So here, you can reduce your formulation cost. Also, this product showing the good flexibility better than your conventional resin. The special property, one more about the epoxy equivalent weight. This product having the epoxy equivalent weight is higher than your conventional. And due to the higher equi equivalent weight, you require a minimum or lower quantity of hardener. So resin and hardener qu uh, quantity, or resin or hardener mix price, it will be lower down. So next one is the ID epoxy ether 7697. This is the bio-based epoxy ether. This product we recommend for the anti corrosive coating for DTM as well as base primer. This product, you can see we have recommend as a uh, epoxy ether, that product having the ether linkages and uh, ether linkages shows a good water resistance and the, due to the this, this having the good corrosion resistance. You can see here, we compare this with the epoxy ester. The epoxy ester, after the 100 hours, the SST or blister size is around 15 mm. And for the epoxy ester, uh, epoxy ether is around six after the 800 hours. So this product shows a good corrosion resistance compared to the epoxy ester. And the price uh, is it competitive compared to the epoxy ester. So now, now I would like to introduce the product for the plastic coatings. As you know that many of the cars having the plastic in interior parts, 
especially for the interior and made up from the plastics like ABS, CC and uh, uh, nylon and all these things. So most of the car makers are looking for the plastic for and the, the trend is in a plastic in a plastic industry or in a met, uh, car industry is moving to or shifted to metal to the plastic. Why? Because the plastic doing uh, very cost effective products having le require less energy and it can be man uh, it can be made with various shape and size. So we need to develop the product or paint or coating for the plastic. Here is the product lineup for the plastic coatings. We have tailor made products for the plastics. You can see here we have the product like acrylics, 2K acrylics, then uh, then TX free with TX. People want uh, TX free products or TX that that for the plastic coatings. So we have both the types. The customer can choose on their preference which product they want. So for example, actually DIC AU7005. This is the standard product for the plastic. This product can be used for the primer, base coat, top coat, anywhere. You can also say sab dukho ke ek dawa, like this product also shows the good adhesion to plastic as well as metals like nickel, stainless steel, as well as plastic like ABS, CC, and so on. This product also shows good, good, good appearance of the film. The next one is Acryl DIC AU7201. This is also hydrophilic functional resin. We recommend for the multiple per use. This product is around 50% solid. Also, this product shows a good adhesion to, to that substrate which is difficult to get the adhesion, like the nylon or glass bead nylon. So you can use this product directly to get the, get the adhesion on that, like that substrate. This products also show a high gloss. The next one is Acryl DIC AC3729. So this is a CPO modified acrylic resin for the PP primer. In industry that the PP substrate is generally used for larger quantity for the automotive as well as now trained in industry, industrial coating. The people mostly using the PP substrate for the, for the many applications. So they facing the issue of adhesion on a PP substrate and now currently people are using the CPO resin for the adhesion primer as adhesion primer. But this CPO resin having some, some drawbacks for like uh, workability. This CPO is in solid form. So we need to dilute it before the application and it, it increases the time. Also having the drawback is high, having the high cost of that product. So people are looking for the alternative of CPO resin. So we have the products, it is CPO modified resin like uh, 3729, 3696 and CL408. We have three products. You can use any substrate like uh, talc, talc field PP, pure PP and other PP. It shows a good adhesion. You have to apply five to 10 micron DFT and apply the top coat or three layer system, whatever you want, it gets the adhesion. So the last session, I would like to uh, present the product for the wood coating. Here is the product lineup for wood coating. We have the alkyd, polyester, 2K acrylic resins, for the wood coating. Some of the examples like 2K solvent bone acrylic, alkyd, polyester. Here's the ID kit 4602. We recommend this product for the sealer application. This product shows a very fast drying properties as well as having the good sandability properties. We generally recommend this product for the sealer, sealer application in wood. So for the, uh, talking about the top coats, we have the product like ID Kid 1021 and uh, ID Kid 4608. ID Kid 1021 showing the good hot water resistance as well as having good appearance and adhesion. And for ID Kid 4608, it shows a good stain resistance as well as hardness, adhesion and hot water resistance. So this is the portfolio from DIC Group. If you have any questions, please ask. Thank you.